So on the last episode of Import Corner, I promised I'd do an episode on the Omega Quintet demo, but due to both my terrible timing and its close Western release, approximately like three days before, three days as I'm going to record this video, I decided to postpone that video, but maybe hopefully we'll do one on the American version itself. No promises though, because I mean, if I buy the American version, it's obviously not going to be an Import Corner. But also, I showed you guys how to create your own Japanese account on PlayStation 3 and 4. However, I didn't really go in depth with it and I kind of regret that. So in today's episode, I will show you guys how to navigate the Japanese PlayStation Store for PlayStation 4. Let's go. So you may be wondering why I'm doing this exclusively for PS4. Well the answer is a lot simpler than you might think. I just thought the PS3 has been out for so long there's probably plenty of videos that give you a detailed tour for the PSN. If there's enough demand for it I'm all for showing you guys and showing you how to guide through the PS3 PSN. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see that. But right now we are on current gen so let's begin by signing into our Japanese account which I already did. Like I stated, I do have a video showcasing how to create your own Japanese accounts. If you've not seen that, I would like to start downloading Japanese exclusive demos or titles. Pause this video and follow the link in the description below or maybe in the annotation right here, depending on what I decide to do. Well, anyway, since a new update as of like maybe it was like March or April 2015, the PlayStation Store icon will be in the menu bar along with the games you've been recently playing. But anyway, let's, um, let's get into this. Once we arrive, I know it might be a little like tough to take in because of all the Japanese characters, but honestly, it's not as terrible as it seems, and it's very self-explanatory once you get going. And if you're familiar with the American one, it isn't that far-fetched from it. So the very first bar we'll be going into is usually new info and promotions. It changes and varies usually from like whenever they decide to update or whatever like new thing they've got going on. Right now, it's going for like top 20, I guess, top 20 games they sold again. I don't read any Japanese essentially, I don't know any Japanese like whatsoever. So all of this is pretty much from memory and just me, you know, going back and forth with the store. <laughs> so here, this is like top 20, I'm not really sure what this is, I assume this is like top 20 games of 2015 so far or something. Um, under that is, uh, is new games or new promotions they've got out right now. Under that is this like PlayStation Plus anime thing they've been doing, which for some reason has oh god what is it called it's called code geass yeah eliza absolutely adores this anime but I, I don't know what this is either i assume this is like playstation plus will get you free anime for a while i think that's really cool but i'm not sure if you can correct me on that please leave that in the comment section below and i will like redact it with an annotation or something in the description and below that is like i guess it's like the gift giving thing or i'm not really sure i think this might be sony rewards we do have that in the american version i'm not sure if it's the same for japanese but honestly, I wouldn't worry about this first bar because it's, it, it doesn't really do much for you in the long run. The second bar is your recommended games, depending on what you're looking at. Of course, the first thing it shows me is these underage anime females. But whatever you're usually viewing, it's going to put here like its recommended list. It, it's never accurate in my honest opinion. But it's there if you like just want to go through and see if there's anything interesting that like pops into your head or whatever. This bar is where you're probably going to be going to the most. This is the game section, and it has its own laundry list of um, bars under it. Well, let's begin with the first one. First one is new and or promoted titles. It's not necessarily like the newest titles, but usually the ones that for some reason get a uh, front page access or something. The second bar here also has its own little like mini section. This is newly released titles. The first one here is newly released games. Second one is newly released DLC. Third one is newly released demos, and fourth one is newly released previews. Of course, like previews in the PS4, you have to download the system and watch them that way. But otherwise, this is where you catch all of your new items. Um, again, it does it is very helpful in case you're looking for something that recently came out and you just want a shortcut to it. So, if you want to get some DLC, want to get some demos, especially demos, which I I usually look for the most, this is probably the easiest place to find them. The third list is also pretty simple, it's just top 20 games, I, b I believe this is top 20 downloaded for the month, but um, oh, poor Bloodborne, already at number 6, yeah. This next bar is all disc release games, aka like, been physically released in um, stores and retail. 
yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory there. The next one after that is all digital releases. These have all been just exclusively digital games, especially for um, the Japanese market. Some of them have digital games that we've had physically released, so it might be a bit curious why stuff like Minecraft is on here. Or I don't know if Assassin's Creed Chronicles has been released in America, but otherwise, like things like Minecraft have been released physically here, but in Japan territories or in Japan in general, it hasn't. So if you want to find your digital games, they can be found here. This next bar is plus 18, or for us, it's rated M for Mature, which is all like the 18 plus adult games, or games that everybody plays because who really actually follows this ESRB. Next one after this is probably one that you might be interested in the most. This is the free to play games, aka games like Dream Club Host Girls on Stage, which I have done a video of if you'd like to follow that. Um, it's, in my, it's in my channel, or I'll probably leave a link in the description below. But yeah, if you want to find them, um, it's usually most of these are are free to play titles like um, or they're uh, n they get pay to play type things like MMOs or stuff. They used to have more I believe but for some reason I don't see them right here. This next bar is all indie games so indie titles like Transistor, um, Spelunky which I quite enjoy. So yeah this is all like the smaller releases no triple A's can be found here it's just all like very well crafted indie titles, I believe. This next section is just every single game in general. Just every single game. This is where you'd find all games and yeah. If you, if you just if you just want to browse like all of the games available in the Japanese PSN, this is probably the best place to go. Dragon Ball. Next one here is also another game section. I'm not really sure what the difference is. This will be all of your demos, you know, like all of the Japanese exclusive demos and stuff will be here as well. Things like Strider. I don't know if we have it. We probably have that demo in America, but here's Omega Quintet, um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, God Eater 2 Rage Burst, which is, I believe that's a very good game. I have the original on PSP. Here's what you'd find all your DLC needs in case you have any Japanese games you want to buy some DLC for. And themes, apparently. And this is where you'd find all your previews if you, for some reason, want to download some Japanese previews. Ooh, Devil May Cry 4. This one is, I believe this is one is this one is games, this is by alphabetical order. Again, I don't know anything about Japanese characters, so I'm not sure how true that is, but I mean all the A's are here and B's and C's, I don't know. It, it confuses me, but I believe it's alphabetical order. This last bar is for games listed under companies. For example, I believe Capcom is here somewhere. Yeah, this one. This is all Capcom games. I've never seen a list like this before where it's like separated by game companies but if you seem if you happen to know any or can read this it's probably one of the easiest places to find games like with similar companies I think this might be Square Enix this is PlayStation Plus it works the same way as it does in the American version the first bar here is just showing you all of the offers you can get like 12 months three months one and here are the free games that are currently available this next one is just all of the offers in general, like a Dark Souls 2 theme. I believe this is free DLC, I believe, I don't know, I don't even know what this is. Um, yeah, very. I believe they've been doing like mostly the same games that we have in, in, Western, in the Western market. Next one here is anime or movies. I'm not really sure how to access this. I believe you might need PlayStation Plus because every time I try to access into it, it won't let me. For example, I will go into a uh, going to Gundam right here and I don't know what this says if you can tell me what this says please leave in the comment section below because I'm really curious why I can't access any anime or even see any previews Be cool if I could the next one here is music unlimited I believe we also have then the Western PSN I don't really know what it does I don't really want to listen to music on my console so um, I'll probably try to leave a link below if you really want some info on that here are all your apps, Hulu, um, I think this is the anime one, YouTube, NBA Game Time, and Share Factory. I believe we also have that as well. <laughs> this next one is usually some kind of promotion for anything that's newly released. Last time I was here, it had the Pixels game, um, the Pixels movie trailer, but right now it's promoting Big Hero 6.
This one is your PS video library in case you've downloaded any of the previous PVs I've, uh, I've showed you guys, like the teasers or the trailers. And finally, this is where you would go to redeem all of your codes, for example, to put some money into your account or get the PlayStation Plus in case you bought it from, from a retailer or something, you bought the Japanese PSN or PS Plus, I mean. Works the same way as our um, redeem code section. Shouldn't be too difficult. I will probably have to show this in a later video because I don't have anything, I don't have any codes to put in to put any money into the Japanese account. Probably have to do a separate video on purchasing games, just in case. Hopefully this breakdown wasn't too complicated or underly explained because I'm sorry if I was not very good at discussing all the things or guiding you guys through it, but once again, I do apologize for my lack of understanding the Japanese language, so if I do get some stuff wrong, which I probably did, please comment down below and I'll post some retractions in the description just in case. Overall, the Japanese store isn't absurdly difficult to navigate because it is quite self-explanatory like it is in our own store. And as of time recording this video, there aren't too many Japanese exclusive PS4 games worth a mention because the most notable ones are already in the process of getting Western releases like Jump Victory Versus and Dragon Quest Heroes. So I hope you found this follow-up video as informative as the previous. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave a comment down below and I always try my best to answer any questions you guys have to the best of my weeaboo abilities. <laughs> But with that said, thank you guys for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more content, and I'll be doing my best to try and bring you guys more quality videos in the future. Have a nice day, and take care.